Hello. Hello there. Hi, Dr. Theo. Yes, and we are recording. It says it yes, right here. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay. So, um, I, I do think I should say so everyone can, can know this, that this is our second time to have this conversation. Uh, you're very sure. gracious because we thought we had it early. We did, and we recorded it, and somehow yes. I did not uh, save it or, or something. So it's, it's been a good lesson in patience today for me uh, to recognize the humility in dealing with uh, technology. So thank you. Yes, you're well, we're great. all learners. I just uh, finished a class myself and I was fumbling around with the buttons, but somehow we were able to communicate. Oh, I'm so grateful for your time again, but what you shared is such gold and I just would love to invite you to share again. We were reflecting on these anxious and uncertain times and, um, and how we yes. can turn to scripture and receive some, some support, uh, some inspiration. So can you share with us? Yes, well, in times like this, scripture is a very, very powerful source of support. But which one we turn to is a question that I suppose uh, we're all asking. But first of all, what uh, are we about? What are these times like? Well, it's obvious that we are in a time of uncertainty. We are all asked to maintain a sense of distance from one another so we don't infect one another. So we are in a time of contagion. We are in time of danger. And the uncertainty is on so many levels. How long will this last? Will I continue doing what I am able to do with my life? Or will I have enough resources to maintain myself as this goes on and on and uh, in an, un, in an uh, extended way? Will I get sick myself? Will I die? Those are basic questions that many of us are asking. So there's this air of uncertainty that makes many of us be afraid and anxious. So it is that fear and anxiety that I believe is being uh, felt and welling up in so many of us. So now how do we address that? How can our faith give us the resources to see through this and live through this? And perhaps if it comes to it, die through this with, pay, uh, with peace and with equanimity and with a sense of really giving ourselves as a gift. So first, the fear. And that is something that is being directly addressed to us by scripture. Isaiah 43 is always a recourse in making us really see through our fear when we are told, fear not, I have redeemed you. So this is Isaiah chapter 43 that tells us what God has been addressing God's beloved people, the people of Israel. And so let me read directly from scripture itself. Chapter 43, Isaiah, verse 1. O Israel, fear not. I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. So that realization that we are called by that one who is the source of eternal life and continues to affirm us in that infinite life that we are given from moment to moment with each breath is one source of comfort and one source of inner peace. Now, it's easy to hear those words and think about them, but it's important to really absorb those words so that we can truly allow our whole being to receive those words and make it really settle down and permeate through our being. So one very helpful way of allowing the words of scripture to really come to us and soak us is by breathing in stillness. And here I recall Psalm 46 verse 10, when we are told again, be still and know I am your God. And that invitation to be still accompanies the invitation to just breathe in and breathe out and allow the breath to take care of us. And when I say breath, I say breath with a capital B for the Ruach that has been there since the beginning of creation, gently blowing and gently empowering the whole of creation to be fully what it is meant to be by the one who created us. So it's that Ruach that we receive in this very breath, 
So as I sit here and just breathe in and breathe out and recall that it's not just a physiological phenomenon or event that I'm experiencing here, but a divine event with each breath, the ruah from that eternal source, that eternal loving source that I am receiving with my whole body is precisely what affirms me that I can be at peace and I can really receive that with joy and with equanimity to be able to face through these uncertainties. So I would like to invite everyone whom I am able to speak in a very heart to heart manner like this to take time just to stop Breathe in and breathe out with awareness, even for a few minutes a day. And in that awareness, keep the words of scripture in mind. Just continue repeating those words from Isaiah. Fear not, I have redeemed you. You are mine. Or if you will, there are words also from Mark 1.11, as Jesus is baptized in the Jordan by his cousin John. And as he enters into the waters, he hears the words, You are my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. We can hear that in the depths of our being, as we sit here in stillness and as we listen with our whole hearts in the silence and let the breath be our guide. Really, it's not something that we make up in our minds, but it is something that can well up from deep within us. And there, they, these are the central words of scripture that affirm us that you are beloved, you are mine, you are mine for all eternity, fear not. And so with these words, our faith gives us the resources to be able to work through these situations and tackle the individual uh, tasks that we need to do. And then once we have overcome that fear for ourselves, once we have found a level of peace that we know we can trust that no matter what happens, all shall be well, then we can turn around and no longer be so concerned about our own little uh, needs or little wants and uh, stacking up my own uh, pile of canned goods and toilet paper and so on, and simply give my life as a gift to help in alleviating those who are in pain and suffering in the little ways that I am able to. Not that I can be able to save anybody, but at least whatever I can do to offer myself as a gift of alleviation of that pain, then I simply offer that in the opportunities that I'm able to. So these are things that we can do and our faith is our strong resource to be able to allow us to move through this with equanimity and with faith and also with love for all of those who are also in the same situation of pain and suffering as we are. So these are some uh, things that we can get, uh, garner from our own scripture, but in a way that we can simply receive by opening our hearts in listening to the breath. Hmm. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Bita. What you have offered us today is such a gift and um, such a needed word. So thank you. I, um, I'm so grateful for the time and the reminder to breathe and to spend yes. those moments every day focusing on our breath, hearing those yes. words that we are loved, remembering uh, who we are and whose we are. So I'm so indeed. grateful for you. Thank you for your wisdom and thank for sharing you. it and with us today. My best and my heart to all of your congregation and thank all you. those that you love. And I know that that includes the whole world. Yes. Thank Let you, Dr. Avito. Bring ourselves in love to everyone. Thank you, Blair. Thank you. Peace be with you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.